So how much power can you get extra with a front mount compared to a top mount? We're going to find out. So the volunteer car today is one of the Academy members, Ben Carmichael, his Hawkeye STI uh, with a 2.5 forged engine with SC42 turbo, 850cc injectors, um, and now with a front mount intercooler compared to a top mount intercooler that we had on here earlier today. And uh, we're gonna see what the power difference is, front mount versus top mount. So as usual, I do a baseline and baseline from earlier with the top mount intercooler was 411.6. Did many runs and they're all around that sort of horsepower, um, 410 to 412. And so this is a good fair comparison. Air fuel ratio, nice and safe there. 1.4 bar of boost hitting 411.6 on this particular run. It's not often I'll get a car here that's actually prepared to run both. Um, so the, the top mount was on the car when it arrived uh, with all the pipe work and the front mount to call it in place. Um, all that required was taking the car off the dyno so that it could connect some of the front mount to call the pipes and then run it again, map it again, see how much extra we will get and um, see what the results are. So stay tuned. So the car strapped onto the dyno in the normal way. No differences in strapping. Not trying to manipulate the figures to show the results. Just a straight comparison. Same car, same day. Top mount versus front mount. Hiya, uh, I'm Ben, and uh, this is my Hawkeye STI. And uh, some of the mods on this um, today, we basically installed the front mount in the cooler. And ready for mapping and uh, the turbo is a SC42 um, which is rated for about 420 um, it's got some GT spec headers on it uh, it's got 850cc injectors 3 inch exhaust all the way uh, so it's a 99 octane um, SO, SO. Yep. Right. yeah it's my preferred choice with it being around the corner basically from nice. um, my house yeah. um, like you'd have seen the test recently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. Doesn't smell as nice as V-Power, but... It doesn't, no. But it works. Exactly, it works. yeah. So, yeah, 2005 Hawkeye SDI. Well, it's actually a 2006. Is it a 2006? Yeah, it's just on a private okay. plate, yeah. It's a private plate. Is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had it for about two and a half years. Um, just been slowly building the mods up, putting some go-faster parts on it. Um... Yeah, and um, it's been mapped quite a few times now, but um, we've, we've decided to to go from the top mount standard uh, STI intercooler to a front mount and just basically, you know, compare the differences on, yeah. you know, back to back on the dyno to do, uh, see, see how much we're, we're gaining and, and that's what we've done. Cool. Turbos generate heat. The very nature of squashing air to go into the engine heats it up and every, or almost every, car manufacturer that fits a turbo also fits an intercooler. Subaru decided to fit their intercooler on the top of the engine. Uh, it's compact, uh, there's less pipe runs, gives good response, but there are limitations because of where it is. It sits above a nice hot engine, it sits above a nice hot turbo, and it is less efficient at managing cooling the air than a front mount. Also add to the fact that the air that goes into the, or over the top mount intercooler has to travel over the bonnet and into the scoop and then through the intercooler. And at a certain speed, sort of above 100 mile an hour, you get a kind of a bow wave of air pressure. And a lot of the air actually starts missing the scoop altogether. So a front mount avoids that issue because it's at the front of the car, it hasn't got the red hot engine and red hot turbo right beneath it so it's always getting fresh cold air cold air makes more power there is a, a slight disadvantage with the front mount in that uh, the pipe run is longer so the response time to actually fill those pipes and um, some people would say lag but it isn't lag 
uh, it's just a response time for the turbo is slightly more so you can maybe feel a slight delay in the, in the power coming back but as you'll be able to see with the test that I'm doing there are advantages for a front mount intercooler they're a bit of a pain to fit the front mounts and um, you have to take the bumper off and cut the back of the bumper um, can be a very time consuming process about a day generally to fit a front mount intercooler with cutting and making sure that it's all cut out properly running the pipe work through the various holes in the engine bay to get to the turbo and to get to the throttle body but the benefits from fitting a front mount intercooler over a top mount intercooler is you've always got cold air and the faster you go the better they work so the engine bay with the front mount installed we obviously got same induction kit so no changes there we're still running based on a MAF using the standard ECU out from the turbo round into the intercooler core which is down the front here just a cheap eBay 300 pound intercooler and then back through into the throttle body perfect So we've been mapping it now with the front mount on there and the difference between the front mount and a top mount uh, is quite a notable difference actually. Um, front mount is now making 447, just a smidge under 450 pounds of foot of torque uh, compared to 413 before. Um, horsepower before was 410, 11-ish now for 47 so 35 horsepower gain 35 pounds of foot gain same car same dyno same day now i can't say that i ran the same boost um, with the front mount because the cooling of the front mount works better i was able to run more boost with the front mount than with the top mount so instead of 1.4 bar with the top mount, I was able to run just under 1.6 bar with the top with the front mount intercooler. And that, you know, obviously with the extra airflow is going to gain more power. And that's where the power came from in the majority of it. So you can see the difference between the boost levels before and after. Blue line is before, so we're hitting 1.4 bar before. We're now just building that to 1.6 bar and air fuel ratio pretty much the same top mount versus front mount power at the wheels then 356.9 is where it's at at the wheels on a uk dyno dynamics dyno um, doesn't compare to power at the wheels on a dyno jet us based obviously you'd have to see the other video that i did on that which will explain the differences because it's a high compression engine, um, there wasn't an awful lot of gains on ignition timing, not on standard UK fuel. Um, there would be a benefit there with um, methanol-based fuel or uh, ethanol-based fuel. Um, and that may even, for a 420 horsepower capable turbo, get us really close to the 500 horsepower mark. A nice example of the difference between top mount and front mount. Yes, you can get to 400 with a, with a top mount, but a front mount would always get better. And the faster you go with the front mount, the better it works. So you get better safety margin as well. So it's, it's a worthwhile addition, certainly above 350 horsepower in my experience. 